Good afternoon and welcome back to Buster Boom. Today we're going Real Madrid at home in the Champions League, the group of death. We beat Real Madrid and I'm fairly certain we go through, so let's get a win here. But first of all, the biggest test in English football, Stoke. It's a home though, thankfully, but Stoke City. Anytime anyone wants to compare any players, they go, has he done it on a wet, windy night in Stoke? So, if you beat Stoke home and away, you're automatically champions of England. That's how it works. Stoke are the barometer of all great footballers and teams. Wow, I don't know where that came from because they played long ball. It's a weird comparison. The other comparison that's weird is Ryan Shawcross being some sort of thug. He only ever broke... And, okay, I'll, I'll qualify that. He broke Aaron Ramsey's leg, but he wasn't that type of player. And it's a weird thing. So he was actually fairly handy on the deck. Uh, I've watched too much Stoke in my life, haven't I? Anyway, enough about Stoke. <laughs> they were doing quite well in the league. As I'm having a go at them. We have, since you all laugh at me, beat Brighton 2-1. Weird game. We went 1-0 up. And I thought, you know what? 1-0 up. After four minutes, we're going to win this game 47-0. And then nothing happened until the 71st minute. And then an 82-year-old mad dog Martin Allen, who'd just been released from his 93rd spell as the Barnet manager, scores a goal. And this, as if it was an affront to God, Arthur Silver from the kickoff. Scored the winner. He went, I'm not having Martin Allen scoring against us. What's the mad dog doing? And scored the winner. So that's it. That's all that's happened. And it leaves the league table looking a bit like this. We are back to the top of the league because Man City did draw. So we are 18 points. City 17. Chelsea 7. Sorry, 16. Spurs 17. Stoke. All fifth. So this could be a tricky game. It could be trickier than I'm expecting. And this is how we're going to line up to do it. We are going to go with... Have I got there yet? Ooh. Uh, I, I thought I had. And this is how we line up. We are not full strength. Brito needs a rest, so we give him the day off. We also have Maravich staying in midfield. Now, João Pedro's back, but I want that ball in midfielder in there to allow Silva to go up and do his thing. So we're going to go with Marzuki, Bruski, Brignon, Kift, Batang, Maravich, Silva, Eldrizzi. Prosperi comes on the wing here. I was tempted to put Meza in. He hasn't played well recently, though. Zenardini and Nicholas. Nicholas is going to be complete forward. I want Zenardini to get some goals. And Prosperi's lack of match practice, but the only way to get him match practice is to give him some matches. I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? They are managed by Christian Mickelson, obviously Mads' brother. They've got nobody that exists anymore. It looks like they have got a championship team from the 90s. Durkin, Dazoo, Stacey. That was nearly Jordan Rhodes. I'm looking for Steve Claridge. Is he in there anywhere? No, he's not. Steve Claridge and Naren Nosworthy. That would have just about done it for me. Uh, send assistance. We should beat Stoke, shouldn't we? Hopefully. They are doing well in the league, but... Of course, if Stoke win this, they go above us. On goal difference. Uh, but by the looks of it, no one's winning this, because we haven't had a highlight yet. What is going on? We'll go attacking, just so we get some highlights. Okay, I don't mean for Stoke. eladris has got it. He gives it to Nicholas. Nicholas beats his man, has a shot from Ray. And you know what? It's a game against Stoke, and it's a... a it's as exciting as a game against Stoke, isn't it? Let's be honest. With 25 minutes, we've got, we got one attack. And three shots, none on target. What? What demand more? Do we demand? We will demand more. But Rhodes has got it. To Dragon. Dragon down the wing. And he's put a good ball in there. And Batang, why not Batang? Why not give Stoke a goal? So they can now sit in and let us attack with a 1-0 lead. Referee's gone over to see the little telly. And honestly, I'm not sure what's going on this year. We just don't seem to be at it in the league. We're at it in the Champions League, but not in the league. And there we go, penalty awarded. And I'm going to throw a water bottle in the half-time because they've been awful. Durkin steps up, puts it away. Of course he does. Of course he does. Right into the top corner. It was a good penalty. And I can't blame Marzuki, but Batang is going to get... Never mind a water bottle. I'm going to fill a shoe with cement and hit him over the head with it. Um, it's a bit of a strange point for him to know. Right, we're going to demand some more. Let's berate the entire team. Silver's playing badly. And there we go, half time. Throw a water bottle. I'm far from pleased that. I don't care if you're demotivated. You're losing a home to Stoke. Eldressi's playing badly. Silver's playing badly. The forwards are playing badly. The back line are doing okay, surprisingly. They got a ball, they kick it forward. I'm losing the will to live with us in the league at the moment. Marzuki. 
to Kift. Kift. Out wide, Prosperi. Prosperi to Silva. Silva brings it forward. Keep going, Silva. Get a good ball in. Can he? He's into the box. He's got a good ball in. Maravich is there. El Adrissi with the goal. There's an equaliser. And now can we go on and play some football, please? It'd be nice. It really would. Silva does well to bring it forward. He gets a fairly decent ball in here. Now they get a clear. Maravich, though. Back to El Adrissi. First time into the bottom corner. Everyone seems angry and anxious. Brewski's one yellow card away. Brewski... I don't care. I'd rather him get banned at the moment. Rodas into the box and it's headed straight to Marzuki. Now is this on the counter? Come on. Hoofs it forward. Nicholas into the box. Zanar oh Zanardini, how did you miss that? How did you miss that? <sighs> Rodas has got the ball now. See if they score after us missing that. Someone's getting shot. Nicholas is away though. He's away. You're not catching him. Nicholas to We've got players of Nicholas's calibre missing chances like this. Silver's tired. Who are we going to get off for Silver? Silver for... Let's get Meza on. Meza, at least he will shoot. Maravic to Meza. Who gives the ball away, but then wins it back. He gives it to Nicholas. Back to Maravic. Out wide to Batang. Now make up for this Batang. Meza, ball into the box. Nicholas, lays it back to Maravic. That is a great save. We're going to draw one old Stoke, aren't we? That's what's going to happen. I've noticed I'm getting increasingly angry in this save. Brewski, into the box. I still look like I'm crying because of the hay fever. But I'm not, I promise. Although it does make me want to cry. Prosperi's got it now. Look at the size of the ball. He gets a ball in. It's headed clear. Maravic, Brewski. Brewski shoots from range. Oh, Brewski. What was that? What was that? Akaru. It's cleared away by Batang. Now chase him down, Nicholas. Come on, you're faster than him. We're on very attacking, remember. They clear it. Nishi. To Akaru. Akaru. Forward. But Kiff steps in. Of course he does. Prosperi. To Meza. Meza. Beats one man. Can we... Don't shoot. Don't shoot, Meza. Oh, Meza, don't shoot. Meza, don't shoot. I'm in... Yeah. Anyway, we won't do that again. Uh, Maravic is knackered. We're going to get on Jao Pedro for Maravich As a... Box to box. Get on there and box. Box clever, you see. Uh, he's got the ball. João Pedro to Meza. Meza beats one man. Is he going to beat another? He's towards the box. He's shot again. Stop shooting Meza. And he's getting instructions on him to just pass the ball. I'm going to show you a draw against Stoke, aren't I? After all the mocking I did, a draw against Stoke. And that's what you've got. A one-all draw at home with Stoke. That, before, uh, that wasn't good enough, I'm afraid. That was terrible. Absolutely awful. Oh, woes. Um, it does concern me. Nine yellow cards in nine games for Batang. Why? I don't. I just don't get it. I don't know what's going on. That was rubbish, wasn't it? I agree, Amy. It was rubbish. Not happy with that in the slightest. It was a disaster. I've never known a start a season so badly. I'm furious. Tukal. Todd Tukal's look at Maravich. You're not getting him. And we'll send Walcott. Right, going to click on the game for the Real Madrid game. And try not to lose my cool. And see you in a second. Welcome back for the Real game then. One change. Brito is back. Praise the heavens, Brito is back. He creates most things in this team. So we're going to go Marzuki, Bruski, Brignon, Kift, Batang, Maravic, Silva, Eldrissi, Brito, Nicholas and Zanardini. I was tempted to just put Brito back in here. And play Meza as somebody on this side. Ah. <sighs> Well, I could, and I could play Eldressy here, put Zenardini on the left, and then bring in another striker. Uh, I am starting to regret selling a couple of the players, uh, especially up top. <laughs> why, did I, why did I sell Troncoso? I miss Troncoso. Anyway, I'm not sure. I'm not going to cry. Anyway, not going to cry. Don't worry. It's just the hay fever again. Zidane is still the Real Madrid manager. Um, Tui, Tui, Zui, 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 he's really good. De Ligt is still there. So I'm hoping our strikers who are quick can get round De Ligt. Victor Suarez has gone. Sifra is good. Um, Martin O'Keefe really good as well. Granelli is on the bench for them. So imagine paying 60 million quid for somebody who's going to sit on your bench. Makes no sense. Um, I'm going to continue to cry here. Can't believe I just drew with Stoke. That's what should be. You're know, upset and think. Drawing with Stoke. At home. The Premier League champions for the last five years. Drawing with Stoke. 
beat Madrid here and we're six points clear of them. That's simple as that. And then all we need to do is beat Club Bruges at home. And, and this looks like an exciting game, doesn't it? We had one shot. Brewski's injured already. So that's a Salazar of a Brewski. Who hasn't been playing well anyway. So it was about time that happened. Maybe he's been carrying it. They don't, you know if they're carrying a knock, don't you? It's not like it doesn't tell you. But that's what I'm, the excuse I'm using. That is a very pink kit for Real Madrid. Um, but they're playing around with it here. They're in. And they've shot. And they've scored. Harris. Fedjik. With the goal. What is going on? Why Why am I still crying? If anyone can recommend that some heavy duty antihistamines. That aren't going to send me to sleep. After about two minutes. It'd be much welcome. But that's a good goal. And we're 28 minutes in. And we've been fairly anonymous so far. We'll get demand more. This is an awful episode isn't it? This blows this whole thing wide open. Zanardini and Nicholas playing badly again. El Idrissi and Brisso not giving us much. I mean, nobody's playing well at all. And we're going to get in and go with thrash arms. I'm far from pleased to just see for the scene. What is going on? <clears throat> if someone could tell you what, what is going on, that'd be great. <clears throat> they have a corner. We cleared it. I'm dying. Suarez. To Twang, yeah, this is why. I can't say his name. I'm not going to attempt. Batang gets it clear. Brito's got it now. Brito, ball over the top to Nicholas. Who's in? Can Nicholas finish? He can't. Nicholas has been missing one-on-ones constantly this year as well. It's almost like he's lost his knack in front of goal. Brito with the corner to the front post. It's nodded down and we give away a free kick there for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know what we did. Silva with a free kick. It's into the box and there we go as he equaliser from Brignon. Doesn't score many goals. Hasn't scored many goals. In fact, I can probably count about three or four, I remember. In the last seven, eight seasons, maybe, he's been with us. Good ball into the box. Bring on. Nobody watching. Doesn't even need to jump. Just guides the header into the net. And it's one all. Much better. Much Even the draw here is a fairly decent draw. Lazio are... I can't see where Lazio are. They must have won because they got six points. Silver. Brings it forward. He's tackled. Maravich got there first. So Eladrissi to Salazar. Salazar's in. Salazar scored. Things you don't expect to say. I don't think I remember a time Salazar has ever scored for us. But there you go. Batang needs to come off because he's one yellow card. But you know what? I don't mind losing Batang against Bruges. That doesn't bother me at all. Salazar with a great little finish for a left back. And time to go back more to balanced. We've got plenty of cover for Batang if he gets... A yellow card, so it doesn't matter. Oh, what a save that is. I'm not sure it was a header off the line. Or it was a great save. Zenardini, again, not having the greatest game. Maravich is tired. So we're going to bring off Maravich. And get Pedro box to boxing. Where is he? Go box to box, Pedro. It's still, again, still more cover than we'd normally get. In there, we're playing Brito and um, Silva together. João Pedro hoofs it forward to Nicholas, who gets there first. He always gets there first. He's beaten one man. Can he square it? He's beaten another. He's had a... There is case and point of what's wrong with Nicholas at the moment. He just... He doesn't seem to be at it in front of goal. Brito's tired. Let's get Joey on for Brito. Brito and Silva are tired permanently as well. And they get rested a lot. I don't understand. I might have to change the, ch- the training up just so they don't have to train. Silva with the corner. Into the box. And it's 3-1. Nicholas with the goal. Can't score a one-on-one. But he can definitely score a header from a corner. I'm ha- weird, weird episode again. It is the duality of Darlington, as I mentioned yesterday. And we're 3-1 up. And that's, I'd say we are through in the, to the knockouts. Oh, I'm going to cry again. Kift. João Pedro to Joey. Joey, through to Nicholas. 1-1, can he finish this time? He can, he's put a 1-1 away. 4-1. Game over. In the 91st minute, the 92nd minute. Look at this, João Pedro... Great ball out to Joey. Joey first time over the top to Nicholas. And it's just the first one on one he scored in a long time. And it's a great finish. Well done, Nicholas. Puts us nine points. Three clear Lazio. Six clear Real Madrid. And I'd say that's us through. Well done, lads. Good win for us. Weird contrasting games. Draw with Stoke at home. Battle Real Madrid. Strange times. Although we were an awful first half there, weren't we? Club Bruges, minus ten goal difference. Oh, what was the score there? They lost 3-0 to Lazio. So I'd say this group is fairly much... It's sorted, isn't it? We get money. PSG are looking at Silva. Silva wasn't that good, was he? Didn't think he played very well. Bruski's injured. 
El Adrissi, of course, he gets his fabled three-day lock for some reason. And Marzuki delights a Quigus turnaround. Okay, Nicholas on four. He got two. So, this has left thing looking. We are top of the league still, because City and Spurs must have messed up for some reason. And you can tell how badly things are going this year, because no players in any of these categories, apart from being a bad boy, that's not us at all, so we need to really pick that up. Champions League-wise, we are top of our Champions League group. Nicholas has scored five goals, though. He's here, and Silva's here for you know, the best teams in Europe, but bizarrely, we are nine points out of nine. Goal difference of nine. Nine's all round. Um, Lazio just behind us, and Real Madrid six points back. If we beat Bruges or draw with Lazio, we're through. I'd say that. I, you know, Real Madrid are in the position that we were in last year where we struggle to get in. I'd be surprised if they get through now because they've got to go to Lazio, they've got to play us and they'll get three points against Bruges and that's about it. So when are we coming back is the question. That's the wrong button. Where are we? Real Madrid away. Burnley, Real Madrid or Villa, Real Madrid will come back for. I can't show you Stoke and Burnley two, in, in two days. I mean, I'm fairly sure everyone will be asleep if it did that. So Real Madrid and then Villa and then we'll come back for Bruges, Chelsea. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Listen, I'm going to have to go really quickly here because my eyes are streaming. I'm about to sneeze and the hay fever's killed me. So if you are enjoying this, please like, subscribe, notification bells and all that stuff. I will try and sort my face out and I'll see you all again tomorrow.